So the equipment itself was initially designed for aeration. Um, it was there to reduce COD, iron, um, uh, to actually help the water itself. Okay. More so in produced water for oil and gas. The unrealized benefit was that the bubbles that were being generated actually created um, accelerated evaporation. Mm. And what's been uh, of news lately, and there was just a, a recent conference um, held uh, for uh, produced water here in uh, in Houston, and that is you have uh, injection wells that can only handle so much. You have water treatment that can only treat so much because you have the place to put it. So if you're taking non-treated water, you're going to treat it where do you put it. And so third, you end up with injection wells that can't handle more volume, mm-hmm. water treatment, that is a place to put it. Mm-hmm. So what do you do with it? You can't use it for farming. You can't use it uh, for road construction. You can't discharge it uh, based on the Clean Water Act into receiving waters. What do you do with it? Mm-hmm. Evaporate it, deep bulking. So, so it was the, uh, the non-direct benefit and design of the system that we're actually accelerating. So when we can sit down with either a mine operator yeah. and or in the oil and gas space, uh, an abundance of production water. That could be low pH, it could be um, high acid content, it could be uh, produced water. The, the issue that, that we're bringing as a solution is the ability to minimize uh, the, the mass bulk of that material so that as you're evaporating and you're reducing the water, um, then you're left with more of a concentrated sludge okay. on the bottom. And so I brought a uh, a miniature of what our system looks like. Okay, perfect. So this actually sits in the water table at okay. about half pan- pontoon. Okay, as far as height. Okay. These so legs. So this is a pontoon. It's it is. It's floating. It is. So these are just foam filled pontoons. Yep. With our. I'm just gonna Zarina. Can you? Is this in the shot? Awesome. So we have our motor up on top. We yep. have our snorkeled airflow coming in. Yeah. And then we actually have four different flavors of our actual rotating oh, like aerator nice <laughs> and it mounts directly down below okay and so we have an elevation change so that as the water level rises and lowers mm-hmm. let's say you have a geosynthetic line pond that you don't want to damage from a metal object that's spinning yeah these legs will then rest oh okay and sit upon the, the geomembrane liner yeah and then these are actually cabled and then moored at the shore. Right. So whether we need a system that needs eight units or yep. 200 units, yep. we'll design it based off of the capabilities of evaporation rate for each unit. So we're looking at evaporation rates as low as 20 gallons per minute, mm-hmm. even as high as up to 40 gallons per minute mm. per unit. 